I'm going to make my mom some deviled eggs Sports and I'm going to eat some food. This looks I love sweet and sour. My mom loves sweet and sour. Hi everyone! Happy New Year! Everybody had a great holiday. I know I gained like three pounds. Annalise lost them, I gained them. I love to cook and eat at the holidays. I hope everybody had a great holiday. Oh man! A great holiday. Now we got to get back in the routine. And then I'm sure you know that now everybody's going to have. Turn the sound off, Dad. Now you know that um, Daddy's over here trying to get his phone on so I can watch the comments. Um, now everybody probably has a New Year's resolution, right? Going to lose weight. Yeah, so today we're going to start and we're going to do a sweet and sour tofu. I personally love tofu. If you cook it right, it can be really good uh, because tofu takes the flavor on whatever you're cooking it with. So, and it's high in protein and so that makes it, and low in carbs, I think um, one container that I purchased if you get light tofu it's even better is only like per serving is eight grams of protein so I hope everybody's ready um, a lot of people don't know how to use tofu but let me tell you it's a really good meat substitute it takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking and um, it's really high in protein and low in carbs, okay? So I think one serving is eight protein, one carb. So it's really good if you're on a low carb diet this year or uh, you had gastric bypass or the, uh, anything. This is really good to eat. And what I did is I purchased extra firm because if you're going to fry it, you want to make sure it's extra firm. And when you purchase tofu, make sure that you're going to use it within the time it says. It does go bad. This is a soybean, okay? And it's very perishable and you need to keep it refrigerated. Once you open your tofu, you need to put it in water, what you don't use. Like I'm going to use about half of this. Uh, this is a 16 ounce and I'm going to use half. I'm going to cut it up, but you need to put the rest in water and change the water every day. And it only lasts about five days, but never fear because I love tofu. Um, in my original recipe, I called for, um, extra light. Now tofu is packed in water. So you're going to drain it. Okay. And I have a paper towel here. See, it looks like a, a sponge. Look at that. That look good. And you're going to put it here. We're going to dry it up and we're going to cut this in cubes. Now, once again, think of um, what I remember I called you spoon size, even though we're making sweet and sour tofu. You want it kind of spoon size and you want it to fry. So just pat it down. If your tofu is too wet, put it between paper towels with uh, like a, a cast iron frying pan on it and get all the moisture out. But we're going to use half of this, okay? So this other half I will put in a container and change the water every day, but I'm going to make oyster um, eggplant and tofu with oyster sauce tonight. So you want to just cut it up into cubes. Just good spoon-sized cubes, just about like that, okay? 
because we're going to uh, dry fry them is what I call it. Okay, so it's, then you're going to put them in this bowl here. Really good. Okay, so now we have our tofu in here. What you're going to do is put one teaspoon of cornstarch on it. Let me get those pieces more out here. Just one teaspoon. Sprinkle the cornstarch and kind of stir it up in here. Whoop, get back in there. Just like that. Yep. If you accidentally get soft tofu, uh, it'll fall apart on you when you fry it. It's more for really soft tofu is more for smoothies, milkshakes, stuff you want that extra protein in. Um, so that's something to really think about. So as we're doing this, getting ready, I'm going to turn my pan on. And you're just going to spray it with non-cooked cooking spray, okay? Whatever you have. Because these have zero calories, zero fat, and zero transsaturated fat. So you're just going to spray it with your cooking spray, whatever cooking spray you have. You're going to get that to kind of a medium heat, and I'm going to put this like this. I'm going to put this in my um, container. And every day you have to change the water if you don't use it right away, okay? And you put that in the fridge. Smart sound. But I really like tofu. There's so many things, you know, if you want fillers or add more protein, this is one of the ways to do it. Just like that. Whatever your family likes. Remember, that's kind of my motto, is if your family doesn't like something, leave it out. But we're going to do carrots, zucchini, uh, any color bell pepper. I don't like green. So I always use red and onions, pineapple, and one 10 ounce jar of sweet and sour sauce, okay? Or if you want, you can make your own. I actually had a recipe, I was looking for it, for making sweet and sour sauce with, um, whoops. Um, when I make like a stir fry, I don't cut them into round, what do they call it, penny shape or whatever, no. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Wes. I hope you had a good holiday. So you want as much of the carrot to hit the pan as possible. So think of carrot sticks, but just a little about like that. Um, so that way it actually cooks faster. Um, there we go. So we have our carrots done. See how your tofu, there's a few pieces here that still need to get a little more brown, but you just wanted a golden brown in there, okay? All right, we're gonna keep putting this on. We want just a little more golden brown. I dropped carrot peel in the brown, but okay. Like I said, it's your kitchen. If you want them round, do them round. Um, the bell pepper probably is the next thing that takes a long time to cook. And I just cut the top off and I pop out the green stem because I'm like, don't want to waste anything. And then pop out the inside. You usually bring it home. And Probably a good meal for three people, I would say. That's about what it would be, a good meal for three people. All right. You see how you have all the golden color there? And no oil, you just use your Pam or butter flavored spray or whatever spray you had on hand. That look good? And then the next thing you're gonna start 
is you're going to start your vegetables. Now the carrots cook take longer to cook, so that's the next one that goes in. And if you don't want to add carrots, don't add carrots. My heavens. Here's zucchini. I'm going to make kind of a, what do you call it? Kind of a half a carrot stick. There you go. Smart sound. Yes, and it's so good. Yes, Judy, we, oh, girl, yeah. So I'm going to set these here. Smart sound. I love zucchini. And you know, zucchini takes on a, a lot of the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with, the same way as eggplant. Um, it's really good for you. And then onion, about one whole onion. Smart sound. Uh, so your onion is kind of the same way. If you want it slivers in there, then please don't put just big old chunks. And this is good uh, for the family if you want the kids. So I'm going to cut it pretty thin and Smart just let sound. it go in like circles like this. Because I like onions. Okay? Miles round trip. All right. At this point, I'm going to add a pinch of salt into my carrots because I think everything needs a little salt. Salt enhances your flavor. Okay. Enhances, and if you have like sweet and sour, you need a little salt, okay? And then I have a 10 ounce jar of sweet and sour sauce. And that's going to do the whole dish, okay? At the beginning, I made um, four cups of rice in my rice cooker because this can go over rice. Now, if your family doesn't like rice, don't make rice. Make egg noodles or something. Yes, you could probably use small chunks of squash and any more. Um, tofu takes on the taste, Kathy, of whatever you're cooking it with. So we're cooking sweet and sour with the vegetables. It'll take on the sweet and sour. When I cook it with uh, eggplant and oyster sauce, it takes on the flavor of the oyster Somebody sauce. Somebody wants to know if you use squash. Yes, you can use squash. If you cut it up in small enough chunks that it will kind of cook through. So I would suggest if you use squash, besides like I'm using zucchini, but if you mean like a butternut squash, cook it halfway on in a pan of water on your stove and then drain it and then add it at the end with when you add back in your tofu. Okay? Um, yeah, Kathy, it Tofu is high protein, low carb. So that's what's really important. Most people are really into the low carb. And so that's why it's important. Like your uh, zucchini is low carb. Tofu is super low carb. Um, so And high protein. And that's what you want in your diet. Protein makes you feel full longer and helps you lose weight because your body needs protein to lose weight. I know, it's kind of weird, huh? But anyway, we're going to add these rest of these vegetables into our carrots and bell peppers. Now remember, this is your kitchen. If your pan gets too dry, add 
a teaspoon of water, but you don't want to add any oil or anything else that's going to bring the calorie count up. Okay? All right, we're going to the stove. See that? That looks awesome. Hi, who said anti oh pearl? Yes, our cruise is coming up. I'm so excited. See if you can get that. And see your tofu is just sitting here lightly brown. And this is the vegetables that we're cooking. Now I need my vegetables um, just a little more tender for the people in my house. So I'm going to add a little water. That you don't really need to add the water if you don't want to. But my. Um, You know, if you have kids that have a hard time, you know, chewing or older people. <laughs> I love you, Dad, but I know they have a hard, you have to have just a more tender vegetable. So that's why I put just a little water in here to help them tender up Smart really stuff. good. Because I need mine real tender, but you should really cook yours crisp tender. Okay. Then you're going to add your can of pineapple, juice and all, okay? You want all the juice in there. And that also is going to help tenderize your meat, your vegetables. See, doesn't that look good? Then you take your sweet and sour sauce and you put the whole jar in. You stir it around. No, oh, that looks so good. You can let that cook about one minute and then we're going to add our tofu back in. This is where the uh, live we're making tofu with oyster sauce. No. <laughs> I could probably film it. All hot and good, looks good and all coated. Then you add your tofu back in. And you want to cook this just until all of this, because remember we coated the tofu with cornstarch. So that allows, when you cook it all back in here, to have your sauce thicken a little bit. So we're gonna let that simmer just a little bit as we plate up some rice. Yummy! That look good? Mm. Have your kids in the kitchen. I always put my kids in the kitchen with me. So that, um, yeah, I let the kids cut the vegetables up. When the kids are involved in cooking, they're more likely to eat it. Especially if they get to help cut it up, get to help fix it, and then they're like, oh, I made that, and it's really good, okay? So now we're going to get a clean plate. Good for you. 
Look at that. Oh, yum. And smart sound. This would be one serving, and that's actually quite a bit of food. And um, this has eight grams of protein, two grams of fiber, and uh, only 72 calories in this whole dish right here as it is. So remember like um, when you cook the rice, um, it's this is four servings this contain this recipe so that um, you know the rice if you mix four cups of rice you have each person has one cup of rice and each person has approximately one whole one and a half cups of the vegetables and tofu. So this is really good for you. And I hope you've enjoyed cooking with Mama Pearl. I'm going to make my mom some deviled eggs and I'm gonna eat some food. This looks, oh, I love sweet and sour. My mom loves sweet and sour. But anyway, I hope you have a great day. And if you would like to have me cook something for you, go email me at lessforgot at gmail.com. Just like it says, L-E-S, F O R G O T less forgot at gmail.com. I will do my best to research it, look it up, and cook it on live for you. Um, sometimes people have some pretty old recipes, but I Sports do out. my research and it gets really fun. And I hope you guys will all go on to Keeping It Real in Jersey and purchase my cookbook. Um, I think she still has a few left. Uh, cooking with Mama Pearl and like these recipes you can go online after I do a show by Monday they're up on the website and you know I keep them in here I write in here all the time trying to make recipes different but keep the recipes in here and you can actually put down what time the show was or date so you can go back and even watch it if you forget later I know sometimes that's important when you watch a cooking show and you think how did she do that this way you can go back on and watch the cooking show and I know I'll see a lot of you out there on the cruise it is gonna be so fun I'm really looking forward to it so I hope everybody has a great day and thanks for joining me mama pearl and I hope you enjoy your sweet and sour tofu remember it's your kitchen cook it your way all right bye everybody love you all